Hello, my name is Dr. Grenner, and welcome to our seminar, Keys to Successful Virtual Music Lessons. In part two, we will begin by discussing how to ensure your child's remote music lessons are as meaningful as in-person lessons. Here is a quick overview of what we are going to cover in this presentation. One, learning is not a spectator sport. Two, progress happens between lessons, not at them. Three, it's not always going to be fun. Four, your commitment plays a big role. And five, it's worth it. Developing a cursory understanding of how students learn will further your understanding of your role in your child's music education. Music learning is an active process dependent upon interactions between students, content, and teachers. Doing and learning are synonymous terms for student learning in instrumental music. Learning to play a musical instrument is guided by three fundamental learning principles. Constructivism and social constructivism recognizes that learning is an active process. Student knowledge and skill development happens as a result of doing and performing an instrumental music. This active process takes on a variety of approaches which, from learning, which form learning interactions involving student to student, student to content, and student to instructor. The best learning happens when all three learning experiences are triangulated to provide students experiences rooted in all three of the above mentioned kinds of active learning. Scaffolding is the process of taking a larger idea and breaking it down into manageable learning segments, moving from incremental bits to larger musical sections or concepts. Beginning instrumental music students typically first learn the names of the parts of their instrument. Then the student learns to put the instrument together, followed by learning the correct holding position for their instrument. Next, the student learns to get a sound from their instrument. Each of the above steps are examples how music teachers scaffold the learning process, providing the students the opportunity to practice and matcher, master each skill over several weeks, with the ultimate goal being combining each of these manageable learning steps into the larger whole of being able to play a musical instrument. My point here being, learning music is a cumulative process for the learner and daily practice and mastery of each smaller concept is needed for success. The quote by composer and music education pioneer Carl Orff says, tell me I forget, show me I'll remember, involve me and I'll understand. This quote sums up the importance of the active process inherent in learning, especially in learning to play a musical instrument. If there was a magic wand music teachers could wave to impart the skills we want our students to learn, believe me, we would all do it. However, learning a musical instrument happens during the practice at home each 
week. During weekly lessons, the music teacher provides a roadmap for the student of what to do. It is up to the student to follow it if progress is going to happen. This is why it's so important to make time in your family's daily schedule for practice at home. Your child may have a sporting game on the weekend, but they learn the skills that allows them to play during practice on the field each week. Learning, in, learning an instrument is the same where daily or almost daily practice is required to notice real significant progress. In a perfect world, all children would do all their homework, practicing, and household chores without being asked. The reality is that children need to be kept on task in all areas of their education. Daily practice is homework, which should be enjoyable. I always say, and you can quote me, the more you play, the more you can play. The more you can play, the more fun you will have playing. The more you want to play, the more you will learn. This positive cycle is music learning at its best. It's fun to learn new music. It's fun to play in a performing group. It's fun to perform and get applause from an audience. It's not necessarily fun to practice every day. It's hard work with fun as a reward as skills grow. Fun should be the outcome of doing the work. If parents expect the work to be fun, students are more likely to give up. I often refer to practicing as hard fun because the fun comes in the work of figuring something new out and the fun is the reward of attaining the goal of finally accomplishing the skill of music making. Sometimes young music musicians become frustrated and want to quit. We all need encouragement when we are down. Help your child to be strong. Talk to them about obstacles that you have overcome. Life's challenges are really opportunities to grow to our full potential. Research shows that a parent's long-term commitment to their child's music, music education is a huge factor in their long-term success. If your child knows music is something your family will stick with, it is more motivating to find good solutions to challenges as they arise. Your child will also settle into playing their instrument as part of daily life when they see it's something that you make a part of their routine versus just something that is being tried out for a short while. Adults who were music students report that they develop things like perseverance, focus, sensitivity, a love of music, and the ability to break complex problems into smaller pieces to name a few things. Once our children get through the beginning stages of learning an instrument and are able to play in a group or learn a song they heard on the radio, then they are excited to play. Confidence starts to grow. Our children start to see themselves as musicians they learn skills that transfer to many other areas of life. They start to really love and appreciate music. Thank you for attending part two of our webinar. Please click on the link below to receive your free copy of Five Ways Parents Can Help Their Child Succeed 
in learning an instrument in a remote world. Thanks for watching.